What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video I finally get a chance to show you all a brand new 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. If you're new to the channel or maybe you're just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for fresh weekly updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so I've had a chance to show you all an Elevation, I've had a chance to show you all an AT4, an SLT, and a Denali, but uh, it took a little longer than I expected to get my hands on an AT4X, so I'm pretty stoked about this one. As with most of my videos, what we're gonna do is a quick walk around the exterior of the truck. I'll show you some of the highlighted features there, and then once we're done, of course, I'll jump inside as well. Just to kick things off, here's a quick look at our key fob. You can see we've got our lock, our unlock, remote start, drop the tailgate, panic button, GMC logo on the back. Throw that in my pocket. First thing we notice is, of course, the signature LED day running lights. The truck is absolutely beautiful. We've got that AT4 grille. We've got the AT4X logo right there in the bottom corner. You can see we've got our front parking sensors. We've got the revised fog light design, so those are sitting down low. We also have the revised sideburn vent. I know this is one of those controversial design uh, topics. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks good. Supposedly it's functional, so kudos to GM for that. We've got our red tow recovery hooks. We've got the blacked out lower valence. And if we look underneath the GMC badge, you'll see the front camera for our HD surround vision camera system, as well as the little cleaning nozzle for that front camera. This was actually my truck. I actually custom ordered this truck. I had planned to take this thing and make it my own. I was gonna trade this guy in right here. Uh, but I've decided to go a different route. So uh, yeah, this uh, is going to a new home. I'm having a little bit of regret, not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna step back, just give you guys a nice wide shot of the truck. Of course, we've got the two inch factory lift. We've got the skid plates underneath. We've got that DSSV Multimatic suspension and front and rear locking differentials. Take a look at our wheels. These are 275, 65, 18 Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. Nice blacked out 18 inch wheel. 18 inch wheel, as most of you know, maybe not most of you know, uh, definitely a much better, um, an op much better option if you're planning on actually taking this truck off road. It's also gonna give you a better ride when you're actually driving on pavement. So there's that too. Up top, you can see we've got our 6.2 liter V8 badge. If you didn't see my 6.2 video, well, 6.2 has been delayed, pushed back. Uh, probably, they say July, but it might be a little bit further along. I think it's gonna be further along, uh, but we'll have to see what happens there. AT4X badge right there on the door, color match door handles, of course. If we go up to our mirror, you can see we've got the LED indicator. You also notice we've got another camera there underneath for our HD surround vision camera system. We've got side steps, and these are, it's, it's almost like rhino lined, and it's much closer to the body of the truck than some of the other steps, so definitely a great idea there. Almost doubles as a rock guard. And as we go around the back of the truck, one thing I do want to point out, and I, I pointed out to a lot of people, is the body lines on the side of the truck. A lot of trucks these days just don't have any real design on the side of the truck. This thing's got a great line coming up from the shoulder and it runs down the full length of the truck. I just think it looks really good. I am uh, openly biased, however, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, in the back of the truck, you can see we've got our power sliding rear window. We've got our multi-pro tailgate. We've got our easy step rear bumper. You can see we've got our parking sensors back here. Your trailer tow package is all set up. Oh, they switched the, uh, they switched these around on me. Once again, we've got another camera back here for our surround vision camera system. We get an LED light. I'm gonna drop the multi-pro tailgate. Factory spray and bed liner. We've got AT4X on the back. LED interior bed lighting. You can see here, we've got a 120 volt outlet. We've got 12 tie down hooks with room for expansion. If you're gonna need more tie-down hooks, it's actually what those little empty slots are there. On the left side of the bed, multi-pro grip handle. I don't actually think they call it the multi-pro grip handle, but I do. Uh, makes it easy if you have bad knees or something and you wanna pull yourself up into the bed of the truck. For the longest time, I've always just used these uh, as my handle. So you throw one foot in the easy step or bumper, grab this hand grip here and yank yourself up and you're kinda of good to go. One thing to note is you're gonna throw this down before you put the tailgate back up. And I'm just gonna step back here and give you guys another side profile. And I will see if I can stick my head under here. We should be able to see them. There, you can see right there, your Multimatic DSSV suspension.
Now, I usually go over the window sticker right here. However, I found it much easier for you guys to see if I throw it up on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up on the screen right now. You can see total vehicle price, $77,190. Exterior is Summit White. Interior is Obsidian Rush. Standard vehicle price is actually $74,400. However, with uh, the 84 high clearance steps, I think that's actually the only option that's added on here. $77,190, so that's all we got. Give you one more second to check out that window sticker. You can save it, screenshot it if you're watching on mobile. All right, let's dive inside. Now this is where this thing really shines. Exterior wise, not too much different from the AT4, uh, if I'm being honest. Other than wheels, tires, it really, it pretty much looks the same. However, inside, this thing is beautiful. First, let's just look at this stitching. So we've got this red cross stitch, black leather, white stitching, white piping, and I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video, but this is like a textured like a textured leather. It looks really, really, really good. Then you've got that wood grain up here, aluminum handles. I mean, the interior, they killed this thing. You'll also notice we've got some audio files gonna, gonna correct me. I believe this is a tweeter. Um, we've got tweeters in the back now. So you don't just have that one speaker in the back, and they did a hell of a job on these speaker grills. I mean, it's just the quality vast improvement let's look inside at your leather interior once again huge improvements back here we've got that black leather we've got the white piping we've got our 10 quart storage containers back here underneath of course we've got our organizer tray so if you need to throw jumper cables that's pretty much the go-to jumper cables are a tow chain under here after all is an x so you might be doing some off-roading great place to put that kind of stuff so it doesn't slide out when you're hitting the brakes the all-weather floor mats huge fan of these as well so you've got your rubberized floor mat but also you've got the carpeted insert which you can pull out so if you're going to go hardcore with this thing or maybe you're going to hit the beach and you just don't want beach sand jammed into all your carpeting uh, it's a great idea to be able to pull that out make your life a little bit easier. We do have heated seats back here. You can see the controls on the back of the console. Here are your vents. You've got a USB-C and a USB port. Also up top, since we're back here, you can see your suede headliner. Yeah, things have, uh, things have changed quite a bit. Beautiful truck. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm having a little bit of regret that I decided to give this thing up. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick peek at your driver's door. You can see we've got that new AT4 badge there. Once again, we've got that red stitching, white stitching, white piping. Looks awesome, huge fan of this truck. She's a beaut. All right, let's hop inside. All right, now I know I go through things kind of quickly, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments uh, at the end of this, by all means, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be glad to answer any of those questions. First thing I am going to address is I said in another video, I was driving the Elevation, I believe, and I turned the auto start and stop feature off. I got out of the truck, I got back in, and I swear that it was still off. I tested it in this truck, I turned it off, shut the truck off, got out, got back in, and auto start and stop was not still off. So maybe I was wrong there, maybe I was losing my mind. I swear it did it, um, but it did not do it in this truck, so. Do with that information as you will. I'll have to test it out with a couple other ones, maybe that black AT4 right there to actually confirm whether or not that's the case. So starting on the left, we've got our memory seat controls. We've got our power locks. We've got our power windows, power mirror controls. We've got our e-brake. We've got our four wheel drive and our mode selector. I'm gonna go through that. You can see we've got off-road mode, terrain mode, drive modes going back to normal. And then we've got our headlight controls right here. Above that, we've got the controls for our 15 inch full color heads up display. I know it's kind of tough to show in camera. You can see it there flickering. It's not actually flickering in person, just the way the camera picks it up. Over on our steering wheel, we've got our heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, our cruise control. This does have adaptive cruise control. You've got a paddle shifter now, negative, down, positive, up. On the right side, we've got our voice dialing. And this little scrolly guy here, a little scrolly guy, will go through your 12.3 inch gauge cluster so you can see all your different information there if you're interested on how you can customize this i actually did a video on how to customize this uh, display to your liking and i'll leave a uh, link to that video right here as well as in the description below so if that's something that you're trying to do and you want to customize this to make it your own um, you can go ahead and do that check that video out now over on the right we've got our 12.4 inch full color 
touch display. This was kind of the big thing when these trucks were being announced. Uh, the revamp with the bigger display that everybody wanted. It's beautiful, it works really well. Uh, I saw some people complaining about the Google Voice Assistant. I used it, um, I didn't use it to a ton of things, but let's just try, let's try one thing. I don't know if it'll, hey Google, can you put on Sirius XM channel 41? Okay, asking Sirius XM to play Sirius XM Turbo. So it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, I don't see any issue there. Like I said, I haven't tested it out a ton, but that was all I tried. I thought it worked out really, really well. Had no issue whatsoever understanding me. So that's a nice thing to see. Uh, AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. You've got Apple CarPlay. You've got Android Auto. Apple CarPlay is actually having a huge update. It's going to be way cooler. Uh, I actually did a video on that this week as well. I'll leave a link to that as well. Definitely something you guys should check out. Super cool. It's actually going to spread to multiple displays. Huge, huge improvement. Uh, you got your podcast. You got your 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. You can, of course, control your climate control through here now. You'll also notice I've got the split screen going on. Oh, wow, that AC feels nice. I tend not to keep the AC on so you guys don't have to hear the fans while I'm doing these videos, but that's, uh, that's, that, that feels good. Um, you can see I've got the split screen, so I'm going to open Google Maps. We're going to just have me do a couple of buttons here so you guys can see the full map. Done. Close. So there's your Google Maps there, but I do like that I'm, I have the ability to split that screen. I think that's really cool. Um, and if you were signed in and everything, you could have, you know, you could have your navigation running over here while you're listening to your radio or vice versa. Uh, as far as your trailering goes, you can set up multiple trailers. The truck will remember the trailer and know what you're pulling, which makes things a little bit easy for you, as well as a checklist to make sure you don't forget anything. Go back home. Your My GMC app, you can schedule service and everything through here. Let's go into our, in fact, let's just throw her in reverse. I'm going to use my console shifter here that is so controversial as well. I'm going to go into reverse. All right, so there's our rear backup camera. Let's split this thing up. So now we have our overhead. Don't get hit by the forklift. So the yellow, uh, the yellow button is the indicator on which direction you're looking at. So now I'm in the back. Now I'm looking at the front. Overhead front, overhead rear, curb hunter cameras. So if you're gonna park this thing in the city, you wanna pull up close to a curb. These are great to have so you don't hit uh, your, your wheels. There's your hitch cam. You should have a bed camera. So there's you, if you need to see what's going on in the bed of your truck. Uh, so plenty of, plenty of views. You should never back this thing in anything, that's for sure. If you do, well, I mean, there's no help for you. I'm gonna go back to home. I'm also really glad they left a physical home button. Uh, oh, I'm in reverse. Uh, you can go into the camera system this way as well and go through all your different camera views. So if that's something that you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. There's your Google Assistant, your Google Play Store. I expect a lot of new stuff to come, a lot of new applications for this system. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it, at least on the trucks that I've, uh, I've tested out. Below there, we've got our HVAC controls, heated AC seats, our climate control settings. Everything's digital. Uh, we have our lane departure warning, parking sensors, auto start and stop, drop the tailgate, hazards, traction control, hill descent control, front and rear locking, differentials. And I'll, sh I'll show you guys this thing real quick. So there's a little, um, it's like a, uh, I'll jump out and show you guys. I won't be lazy. Right here on your seat, this control right here, that's for your uh, massaging seats. So I'm gonna hop back in and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna just hit that button and enjoy myself a nice little massage. So I can go through the different modes here and turn those on. Or I can decide maybe I want some back bolster, maybe some lumbar, what kind of, what, what do I want? So uh, if you test drive one of these things, check that out, go through all your different settings. We're getting a massage right now as we speak while I'm filming this video, feels great. Uh, nice little feature there. Something that I'm surprised they didn't have in the Denali a long time ago, if I'm being honest. So. That's your massage feature. You've got your trailer brake controller right here in the console. You've got some rubberized sections. Uh, so if you need to throw some junk around, it's not gonna slide all over the place. You've got your wireless charging dock uh, is right here. Inside the console, you've got a little organizer tray which can lift out. You've got another full AC outlet. T tough to see, but you do have a USB-C and a USB port as well in here. And then you've got your glove box up top as well as down low. Um, up above, 
once again, we've got our suede headliner, we've got our power moonroof, we've got our programmable garage door openers, our LED interior lighting, and then we've got our HD surround vision mirror, which is fully adjustable. I love this thing. It's so cool that this is what I'm looking at now instead of that. Um, it stays on full time, so that is what you're going to be looking at in your rear view mirror if you choose to. I don't know who would choose not to. That's just me. Uh, other than that, that's kind of the quick rundown of the AT4X. I, like I said, I know I've done the AT4 already. Not too much has changed other than a few interior items, but mainly it's those front and rear locking diffs. Uh, it's all the options. It's the suede headliner and the massaging seats. I also noticed this, I forgot to mention. You get uh, rubberized um, grab handles now. I always call them motion handles. Uh, I don't want to get, you know, slapped by YouTube, so I can't say that. The Bose audio system sounds really great in this. I, I love the truck. I really do. I'm sure you guys do as well. She is a beauty. Once again, if I missed anything in the video, sometimes I do. I do a ton of these things, so sometimes I think I did it because I did it in another video. Uh, questions, concerns, comments, drop them in the comment box down below. Once again, if I didn't already say it, I think I did. I appreciate you all for watching. Check out some of my other videos. I will see you all in the very next one. Stay cool out there. I am dying. Woo! Thanks again, guys. Take care.